So Canadians so tend to have your reputation one, for being really tough people leg, and the toughest two. of all Canadians tend to be lumberjacks and the toughest of all the lumberjacks are definitely here at the 59th annual Squamish Days Logger Sports. Logging are part of the fabric of West Coast Canadian culture and commerce. On Saturday, novice and intermediate competitors battled it out. Logging is really part of our heritage here in Squamish. We were uh, kind of founded as a, as a logging town and though that industry has slowed maybe a little bit in the area, we're starting to see a resurgence of it here and we like to keep the spirit of that, uh, the history alive. Having a lot of the hard work in the woods, many lumberjacks still enjoy learning how to use their hands and like testing their brains and brawn. It's based on a skill that you had to have to do your job. So as far back as the 1800s when they were logging here in the coastal forests, they would have to take an axe and a saw with them to chop down the trees. They weren't using chainsaws. So it's really interesting to see those old skills still being practiced and used today. Competitor Mark Keith Queen, Zander from the U.S. says the, the speed climb, one of the most dramatic well events, is pretty simple, splits. so long as you're not afraid Mark, of heights. Mark's racing for that 60-foot line and Nick trying to have a nice clean up, no slips, three. and then Thompson, trying to CBC, just get down to safely as quickly as you can. Athletes and lover sports travel right together to and won the different the competitions of the summer. The Zander, who comes He's from a logging family, thinks the camaraderie among the loggers is as important as the see competition. See just kind of one big family. Everybody, everybody you meet, meet is just really wall. good people. So and it's just when you go to all the different shows, it's pretty much all the same people. So it's it's fun meeting all the people and. The competition attracts about 100 lumberjacks from the world, such as the U.S., Australia, and Norway.